Raptors fans are letting the finals excitement get to their heads. They're starting to get really nasty towards Warrior fans and their families. Steph Curry has something to say about that. He's dealing with a lot of negativity from the opposing team's fandom, but he's trying to focus on getting his first NBA Finals moment. Here's what's going down. Hey everyone, I'm Devin Howard. Click subscribe to The Fumble if you haven't already. Tap that bell and give this video a like too. And while you're at it, hit me up on IG at Devin Howard. Yesterday, we filled you in on how some Raptors fans came for Steph Curry's mom, Sonia. She was just there supporting her son when she was greeted by hordes of aggressive fans and they started dropping F-bombs on her. Okay, look, I usually like to keep things peaceful, but I kind of get trash-talking players on an opposing team. But to do that to someone's mom? Come on, guys, y'all need to calm down. Sonia clapped back at the haters. You can tell by her body language in the video. Watch it here. <laughs> This all just happened after a fan made sexually explicit comments about Aisha Curry and was later arrested. Okay, what is going on here? I thought Canadians were supposed to be so nice and so polite. I guess the pressure of the games is just really kicking things up a notch for the fans and Steph Curry has something to say about that. When asked about the heckling his loved ones have received, he said, I think it's kind of stupid to be honest in terms of people camping outside our hotel just to yell expletives at either us or or our family members or whatever the case is. He also blames his team's final success as a reason why supporters of the opposing team try so hard to be so negative. He said, quote, I think in terms of being in the finals five years in a row and being on this stage, it's hard to avoid those interactions with fans that want to kind of make their imprint on the series somehow in some way, especially with social media these days. Although he's used to the negative attention, he says it's taken on a new life in the finals, especially when fans cheered after KD was hurt. Steph said, I'm very confused about that reaction. It's not my experience with people of this city. I just hope that ugliness doesn't show itself again as we go forward in the series. Uh, don't count on it, Steph. For now, the Warrior superstar is trying to block out the haters and not let it impact his performance in game six. He said, quote, we handle that stuff with class and try to ignore it the best we can. And if they get something out of it, so be it. But it doesn't affect us at all in terms of what we're trying to do and how we carry ourselves as a team, as players, and as people that represent us and our families well. He's working hard to brush off the drama because in game six, he's going to be bearing the brunt of the pressure to carry the team to victory now that KD is out. Steph has always been a star player, but he hasn't been the superstar in the Warriors finals appearances. Andre Iguodala carried the team in the 2015 finals, and KD was the real MVP for the last two years. With KD out of the finals now, Steph is expected to be the one to give the Warriors the win they're hoping for. In Game 5, he delivered 31 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists, so if this momentum continues, they'll be in good shape. Steph said, quote, It's just a matter of, can you capitalize on it once the next game starts and lock in and focus on details? See the adjustments the other team is going to make, especially in the playoff series, because that happens. They watch film, they try to tinker a little bit, and just confidence in terms of what we're trying to accomplish every possession, every quarter, in order to win the game. He's got a powerful lineup backing him too. Clay, Draymond, Demarcus, but ultimately we need Steph to drop 30 or more a night to beat the Raptors. Steph says that tonight they're playing for KD and honoring, quote, the sacrifice he made in terms of putting his body on the line. So tonight the Warriors are, quote, going to give everything we got. I would like to say I would guarantee the win, but who knows how it's going to end up. But we're going to give everything we got. We're going to fight. We're going to compete. In other words, we're in for another explosive game. Who do you think is going to win tonight? Sound off in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and come back to our channel later for more sports news.